I'll classify this one as a 600 level GMAT question. The question essentially is a good way to recap and consolidate what we have learnt about the impact on the standard deviation when we add or multiply terms to each element in the set. Let's get started. If the standard deviation of four positive numbers P, Q, R and S is D, we know the standard deviation for these four numbers. What we need to compute is the standard deviation of 2P minus 2, 2Q minus 2, 2R minus 2 and 2S minus 2. This is likely to be a question that's tested in the GMAT because these are the kinds of questions that typically appear will not expect you to actually compute the value of the standard deviation but will test whether you have understood properties of standard deviation. This is a beautiful example of one such question. Let's get started. Step 1. Let's start by finding out the standard deviation of 2P, 2Q, 2R, 2S. We need for 2P minus 2, 2Q minus 2, 2R minus 2 and 2S minus 2. What we have as data is, is the standard deviation for P, Q, R, S. Step 1, let's find out the standard deviation of 2P, 2Q, 2R and 2S. This is where the, one of the properties about multiplying each element by a K comes of use. If each element in a set is multiplied by a K, the standard deviation also gets multiplied by the K. So new standard deviation is going to be K times the old one. So the standard deviation for 2P, 2Q, 2R and 2S will be twice that of the standard deviation for P, Q, R and S. The standard deviation for PQRS is D. So standard deviation for 2P, 2Q, 2R and 2S will be a 2D. So step 1 done. Second step, let's find out the standard deviation for 2P minus 2, 2Q minus 2, 2R minus 2 and 2S minus 2. If I add or subtract a K to each element of a set, the standard deviation will remain unchanged. There will be no impact on the standard deviation. So for a 2P, 2Q, 2R, 2S, we found the standard deviation to be a 2D. Therefore, for 2P minus 2, 2Q minus 2, 2R minus 2, 2S minus 2, subtracting a 2 from each of these elements will have no change to what the standard deviation for this set was. Standard deviation for this set is a 2D. So standard deviation for 2P minus 2, 2Q minus 2, 2R minus 2 and 2S minus 2 will also be a 2D. That's it. That's all it takes to cracking this question. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. When each element in a set is multiplied by a 2, the standard deviation also doubles. So the standard deviation for PQR and SSD, the standard deviation for 2P, 2Q, 2R and 2S will be equal to 2D. If you add or subtract a K to each element in a set, there will be no impact on the standard deviation. The standard deviation for 2P, 2Q, 2R and 2S is 2D. Standard deviation for 2P minus 2, 2Q minus 2, 2R minus 2 and 2S minus 2 will be the same as that for this, which is also going to be equal to 2D. Check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to the channel. What's more, let's make scoring Q51 GMAT a reality. Sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable online GMAT quant course at gmat.vizaco.com. That's again gmat.vizaco.com.